Hi everyone. Okay. Go. So today I'm going to present you how to test Odoo UI with uh, the tools. But first, I'd like to check if someone has already uh, used the tool system. Can he left? One, two, three. Okay, more than I expected. Well, more than one was already incredible. But let's continue. So. Uh, my name is Bastia Pierre. If you are wondering, Bastia is my first name. And uh, I'm going to divide this presentation in five parts. Uh, what's a tool? How to define them? Uh, how to start them and create them? And finish with a little demo. So first, what is a tool? Uh, I think most of the people already seen this little pointer over there. That's a tool. Uh, that's actually an onboarding tool. That's the kind of one that will guide the user. So there is two kinds. The onboarding tool, like I just said, it will be interactive. So wait for the user to make the click, write something, uh, or will simply guide the user. Or in automatic mode, th all the action will be executed automatically in front of the user. Uh, you can run it from the interface. Uh, like any user could do, and the ma main purpose is to guide guide the user. Uh, the test tool here are only automatic because they are run by the Python test, and depends of pre-configuration. For example, you need some weak records or in in configuration precise configuration, and the main purpose is for integration testing, and that's how we use them uh, in Odoo. Now that you have a little idea of what could lo look uh, a tool, now how can we define them? Well, it's in the JavaScript code, and you have to add them in the registry. There is a category, webtour.tours. That's where you can add them. You have first to name it, here my tour, for example. O you have to say where to start this tool, on slash odoo, for example, here and the step. That's all the action that will be executed by your tool or all the action that you want your user to do. Uh, this step have few attributes. Uh, for example, run, that's what action the step uh, waits or do, here a click. Trigger, that's on which element the action will be executed. Here, an element with the class my button, so let's say a button and the content. That's a description of what does the, the step, but also that's the text that would be shown when you over the pointer or the element from the trigger. And there is also the, an is active attribute, well named because that's when this step is active in community mode, enterprise mode, in automatic or interactive mode. And there is more, but I think that these uh, attributes are the most useful and most used in our code base. Uh, and so now you have your tour. In it's a test tour, actually, because if you want an onboarding tour, you have to take a, a tour in the registry and register it as an onboarding tour, like this. So you create a record in the XML data, uh, a web tour, dot tour record, and there is only few arguments. The name, it has to be the same as the one in the registry. The sequence, that's to know in which order you will execute the onboarding tour. I will go on it later. And the rainbow main message. That's this little rainbow effect that, that you have at the end of the tour. And that's the message that will be in the effect. And that's all. Like this, you have your onboarding tour. And now, to start them, uh, we ha I will start with the test tour. Uh, the test tour, like I said, you need a Python test to run it, like that. You put your pre-configuration, all you, all you need before the method start tour, and then you use it. The start tour method will need where to start, here on slash odoo, the name of the tour to execute, my tour, and the next ones are optional, but I think useful to know. Watch will execute the, your tool in a Google Chrome instance that you can see that will pop up in front of you. 
and the debug one will put a breakpoint before starting the tour and when it failed to know uh, the, the reason behind it. Because yes, by default, the start tour will run an headless Chrome instance. Now that you have your test, you can run it with the CLI with the flag test tags. That's well explained, I think, in the documentation of Python test and in the uh, talk about it. So here's an example, but you can do more. And that's all for the test tour. Now the onboarding tour. Them are more user friendly. You have two ways to execute them. First is the new checkbox in the user menu. The checkbox onboarding will activate all the onboarding tour in the seconds order, like we s I said before. After that, you can choose a specific tour to execute, and <coughs> sorry, that is in the settings technical user interface menu. <coughs> it's well named, it's tour, and this menu will bring you this view. That's the tour view. You can see all the onboarding view, and you have two ways to execute them, com like I said. Interacti interactive mode, that's the onboarding button, and the test mode, that's the automatic mode. <coughs> As you can see, uh, there is no create button on this view, there is a record button. This record button is actually the new tool that we created in this tour system, and that will allow you to create them easily and quickly. That's the tour recorder. This toolbar will be shown in the bottom left corner of your screen when you click on a record and it will allow you to record tour on the fly or use them as onboarding tour and you can also export and add them directly in your code if you want it to be more permanent. Mm, but I think that a little demo will be better than many words so let's take a look. Here I have my Odoo database. Let's take a look to the tour view, like I said. <coughs> there is only a few onboarding tours because I don't have all the apps. If you click on it, you have a more detailed view, the form view. But here, let's record a tour. Let's go back on the home menu. Home menu. Start the record with the little button up here. And let's say, going in CRM, create a new lead like that, drag it directly in the one section, check his detail, seems good, create a new one, test, that seems good, and I think it that will be all for the CRM tool. I can check that all the steps are okay for me, and then just name it, mm, my tool, and that's it. If I go back on the tour menu, I have a new tour in the in the uh, menu, in the view. That's a custom one, we can see it with the little checkbox here. And the details are, there is more thing. There is the step because they are stored in the database, they are not in the registry. You can modify them if you want, if you know how to do it. You can add content, so the little text in the pointer, for example here, uh, Click here, let's add maybe here a text to precise that it's a drag and drop. Here, nice. And here is the same button that has the view, uh, list view, so let's begin. So here we can see that I have the little pointer with the text that I just typed. I, I can continue. Let's say that I didn't click on add and the delete button because I was not fully uh, taking uh, having attention. Well, the tour will backward to know the first step that he can propose you to continue the test. And so here it will continue like before and all happen. <coughs> For the drag, you can start dragging and you see the drop zone and it continue new test again save and the effect that's how you can use an onboarding uh, tool 
uh, you can use it automatically, like that, testing, and everything will be executed in front of you. And that's all. <coughs> Let's say that you are happy with your tool. You say, ah, maybe it will be useful in my flow and it has to be executed when I make custom development, for example. Well, you can go on the action menu e and export it in JS file. Then you go in your model. Here I have a little menu with nothing in there. I can add the new tool that I just download here like that and everything is also already typed you have the tour add to the registry all the steps that you had and maybe just change the name to not have conflict with the custom one already existing you can also add few parameters let's add for example a uh, tooltip position this one will just positioning the tooltip uh, in the during an onboarding tool so let's say uh, at the bottom of the element, like that, saved. Like I said before, here you have a test uh, tour. You need to register it as an onboarding one. And for that, I was well prepared and prepare my uh, XML file that I will put in the data. L it's not complicated the name of my, t my tool, the same that the one in the registry, a sequence, a good when bo mes man message, and that's all. I will just now specify to my module that there is this data here, like that, and nothing more. I will restart, of course, my server to get the new, the new module, and then Go back, refresh just to be sure. Up. My new mo module should be somewhere. Here. Activate. And now, if I go back on the tour view, we have the tour permanent. And all the steps are not there anymore because they are in the registry, in the JavaScript. And you did all that, and you want your colleague to run this tool specifically. You can share it with the, the URL here. <laughs> and then you have not this message actually, but the tour is started. And we can see that it's above the elements. So that's the one. Uh, and that's actually all for this demo. Uh, if you have any question now, you can type it in the pad or any more thing. Uh. <laughs> Arthur, so the first question is: Are tools better than using the form class in unit tests? They are more integrated in the flow because all the assets are loaded so they are very specific and you test real client behavior or just user behavior Hello. <laughs> yeah I, I was sent in here to uh, to the questions together with you okay. I hope everyone has a, a nice session um, should you do it alone or uh, should we do it together <laughs> uh, like you want uh, you can read the question if you want yeah. and I will answer for sure. Uh, let's pick this one. Um, can we make load performance tests out of tours? Well, you could uh, add a lot of steps to, uh, to simulate a lot of uh, behavior, but that's not their main purpose. That they are not made for that. All right, thank you. Um, I see someone writing, but I will take another one. What happens if a stack trace happens while recording a tour? Well, uh, the click on the trace, uh, trace back will be registered, so that you will have to remove this step 
in your uh, step wha li like I uh, like we see before under this view or just before register the save the the tour. All right, thank you. Uh, next question is: Is there a way to configure demo data via UI? Uh, uh, I don't think so. Uh, I if you want to test it with demo data, I think it's better to use the test one, so the test two with the Python test. It will be more uh, appropriate to have this integration testing. All right. And is it possible to take an screenshot during the tour? Uh, you can do it, but it will be n it will not be recorded. The but yeah, you can do it. All right. Uh, maybe for ending, you can pick uh, one of your own if you want to. <laughs> okay. Uh, mm. Are there any way to highlight the purple dot or steps to guide challenging user? Uh, the the dots is quite uh, unique, uh, not very changeable. So you have this and the text that that you can put inside. You can put uh, HTML uh, to have, for example, bold text and everything. But that's all. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.